All right, here we are again. Time to build some more factory, right? It's what we, it's what we love to do. It's what we just can't stop ourselves from doing. We're gonna build more factory. What are we doing today? I think. Oh, I realized I made a mistake. Yeah, I screwed up. We gotta go fix that. Like, so one of our our problems is that um, we don't have enough seaweed, right? We're using a better seaweed recipe. And it's using limestone, which is, you know, good because it's a better recipe, but it also only works so long as you have limestone. And, um, I've been having a little trouble with that one. Uh, and my normal limestone, I'm only using waste limestone. I don't have a formal, like, primary generator for limestone. And I remember... I told Dinosaur to take from here. Are you dropping or are you taking? Yeah, this is an output. Dinosaur should... No, okay. The dinosaur is like trying to take from this to try to utilize the production that's not being used here. But this is production is only not being used because, again, seaweed. So I'm trying to like plug the system into itself like a like a... Uh, a perpetual motion machine. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Physics does not work like this. And what I was mistaking for primary production is really just stalled out secondary. Uh, a stalled out consumer with on-site secondary production. You know, uh, normal, right? We can deal with this. So I gotta catch that dinosaur. This is... This is the downside of using um, uh, caravans. Oh, is that you? No, is that you? All right, where where do you come from? Is this? Yeah, it's you. You. Like. Okay, we have so much trouble. We want to do this, obviously. You you did a good job, but not like. Not like a really, really good job. How about that? So, I believe I might have to increase limestone primary production. Which is entirely possible, I think. Just going to be a little annoying. Limestone is... or here. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. And here's our limestone bin. And we got a line. And limestone comes primarily from uh, these producers right here, and the slaking of lime. No, the uh, conversion of slaked lime into sodium hydroxide. However, that is very dependent on demand for sodium hydroxide, and right now there is none. So with this turned off, we are fall we have fallen back on only these guys as primary producers of limestone. And they are not producing enough. So I kind of have to take this directly, right? And add more limestone production. Like there's no other way to do this. Like So we have I don't know if I really should be doing this. Like, it's important for overflow, but like... I don't think this should be done at all, honestly. Because the lime is too precious. I thought I would need a vent, but I don't think I do. So just turn this off. Because we are constantly... Uh, wanting more shells. We are constantly in want of shells. Which means that we are consuming lime faster than we are producing it via shells. So this vent, while good to have, I don't have it properly, properly set up. Hmm. Because I want like a tier, right? I want this to to go and I want this to like back up even I want this to be used to excess this is weird because we kind of have a full belt of limestone right here right 
And this guy is going to put it... I don't even know where this is. Yeah, that's a big, big mystery right there. Um, and he's going to be done in a second. And then this guy fills up. There's probably another one under him, right? Yeah, there's another dinosaur right there. And that's probably uh, uh, the limestone from up uh, with the seaweed. So we are in struggle simply understanding the problem in front of us. I am not sure how best to respond to this. We have a whole bunch of limestone right here, right? And it gets destroyed. So and there's limestone out here in line for destruction. But you can capture this, right? Like, this limestone right here need not uh, go to waste. Um, there's probably a preference here I just erased and I should restore. No, no there wasn't. <laughs> that was a lie. Alright. So right, right here and right here. And then I want output priority to the left. I want you to come with me. And then we're going to come down. We're going to put a caravan right here. And that will capture this limestone for possible use. It doesn't have to be used. Possible use. Oh, I need faster arms. Just... Let's go get some more of that iron niobium alloy, which is going to be a jog. I'll go get it to do this properly. I'm going to need it eventually, right? So just go do it. Then after this, we have to tackle graphite, which means doubling this. Luckily, I left space to double that. But still, not sure that is a particularly happy thing. Because we need more graphite to make more electronic parts of various types. And then after that, uh, goes into MOSFETs, which will be needed for electronic parts. What is this? What are you doing? Quartz ore. Um, this is Niobium, I think, right? Niobium plate. Um, and then electronic parts goes into mechanical parts, and it also goes into a bunch of stuff I'm going to need to make for the factory yet to come. So it'll be a good use of my time to bootstrap that. And then after that, it's kerosene power, which is going to involve some math, um, but we'll have a pretty big payout. Well, no, that that's dramatically overstating things. It will not have a pretty big payoff. It'll have an entirely adequate payoff, and that is all. It'll keep me going long enough. <laughs> uh, allow me to turn the particle accelerator back on, and so on and so forth, and many such things. So, over here... Over here. Oh, look, it stopped even. So this isn't even... This is not even a good source of limestone because we don't need the pure sand enough. So, yeah. Yeah, not a solution. Well, all right, fine. All right, Mr. Dinosaur, you have a new life. I want you to fill your cargo gear and then go down to main limestone dumper, which is right here. This is kind of bad, though, because if it backs up too much, I won't be able to make sodium hydroxide. I could be giving myself a problem here. Ah, uh, and then empty the cargo. So, yeah... I may very well be having, <laughs> taking problems and just pushing him downhill. All right, 
we're going to solve this barbarian style, right? We're going to make a whole bunch of soil extractors. And then we're going to just put them out in the sea. Hopefully I have enough... Uh, um, landfill on me. If not, I can go get more. It's fine. And every time I look in my inventory and I see the Megadar, it means it's time to place a Megadar, right? We're going to place one right at the bottom of glass. Okay. Then we're just going to actually, for real, have radar coverage on our base. Instead of being lazy, but bam. There. Oh, it's not good. Well, don't worry. This will get fixed. We're going to be putting formal embassies out there, so it doesn't matter. Is this better? Is this worse? No, my friends. It is simply different. Um, and we want soil extractors in quantity 10. I think 10 is what we're going for here. So let's see what we can do. Uh, soil, soil, soil extractors. Go get iron plate. And some air core inductors. Which are readily available. Soil extractors in quantity 10. Right there. And I'm going to sweep through and get more landfill, I think. Probably important, right? Almost certainly a positive idea. Battle lard. Skin is completely backed up though, it's gonna start venting soon. That at least means a steady trickle of glycerol. It also means uh, I should probably increase production of that um, by just adding out, you know. Uh, more processing units. Which is kind of a shame, because I don't want to move it. I mean, I'm not going to move it. Which means I have to deal with it as it is. Why am I unable to find this place? Alright, right here. Alright, landfill we got. Alright, let's make some additional limestone. Like, it's kind of frightening to have this back up, though. I feel like I'm going to cause myself problems, which could be solved if I were doing things properly, as I will in the factory that is yet to come. However, the factory is not yet here, so I, uh, I'm not doing things properly. We regain land from the sea. Look, it comes back home to factory, as it has always wanted to be. Soil extractors. And for you, you do like one of these. No. Oh. I guess we can do it like this, huh? I'm kind of obligated to now that I've used this shape. So... More landfill. They probably have to come a little on behind too. Suddenly, pie block. That is almost certainly enough, right? Yeah, it's exactly enough. Good instincts. This much. Don't have room, make room. These do seem a little faster now, which is good because I paid for that. Give ourselves a little space. Ooh, no, no. Land once placed can never be taken back. Yeah. Can I do it now? Look, islands. 
There might be treasure there. All right, so now we want Hawa. Wood. Why are you still flashy and I have no power when I clearly brought you in contact with power? Um, all of you do this. Primary limestone production. But. Ah, look at you, inland. Um, you need to join with correct priority. In that everything else has priority first. So. Like so. Input priority from the right, yes. Okay, so limestone. I know it's here. There we go. And so what have I done? Uh, five seconds for two limestone. And so I put in ten, so it's twenty limestone. This is now four limestone a second. It was just added on. Is this good enough? Should I do more? Got a full belt. Not even venting that hard off of sodium hydroxide. It doesn't look like it's going to stay a full belt though. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I should make a dedicated limestone maker that just links up to the seaweed up there and just takes care of its needs. We got a huge line here. Is an extra four a second really going to imp uh, impress these guys? Mm. If you have to ask the question, you're obviously not playing Factorio correctly. Let's see if the this has sprung to life. Good. Oh, it just sprung to life. We're just now seeing it wake up. Neat. Huge pure sand factory. There we go. And we're now starting to see waste products trickle up. We would just destroy this limestone here in the limestone destroyer. But instead we collect it. And it's going to be a very long time being collected. So, um, obviously not a huge throughput here. And I am not confident in all, at all in what I just did over here. You know, it looks like limestone demand is just really, really big right now. This age of the factory. Like, neither of you are even picking up. It's like, oh, now you are. Because that guy just filled up. Where are you going? Your job is to go get limestone and urea and everything, and then you go over here. I really wish I could zoom out on this. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's very important. Um, why are you even doing this? I think you're banned, right? Yeah, I think I think you're banned. No longer do this. Lime comes only from shell. And I'm sure I'm going to regret that. But I can't have you... Here. No. No. We just... Having an emergency contribution is fine. It just has to be appropriately balanced, right? So... This is fine. And it's going to be, like I said, an emergency contribution. Why aren't you going? Serious question. Why aren't you going? Oh, because I... 
I also picked that up. You know, balanced, as all things must be. And then this will fill up very rapidly and leave a void all the way back here. Oh, and we're completely voided out, so... Maybe I need more Zillifo. Like, that didn't seem likely just a little while ago. Shell? Shell. Ah, yes. One of these. Zillifo. And I bet... Zillifo. Zai... Zyla... Zyla... Zillifo. Zillifo larva. No, you don't actually need any seaweed. So, I'm going to have to go see what's going on with that. You're at least filling up. And then you're going to go dunk. Who knows where you're going to go dunk. Maybe. And then this is going to eat more limestone because this is going to run out. And then, like, everything goes to hell. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Uh, no, perhaps we should balance this based on the realities we see in front of us. We must use the belt to its fullest extent. Yes, smooth, continuous. This is why turning off the slaked lime maker right here I think it was a good idea, because we're just running out, and we need that stuff. Now it's eating a whole lot of limestone, and I mean, almost full up again, so... In theory, eventually, it should be fine. Here, let's take a look at the seaweed. Things are going okay for the moment. Only for the moment. We need to overwhelm one seaweed. We're running two full belts, which is like, what more do you want from me? <laughs> what more do you monsters want from me? Better not be coming for limestone. He is. He has gotten lined. We don't have enough. That seals it. Um, we need to put in not just. Uh, another belt. We need, we need, we need another belt. Okay. Um, limestone, because these guys aren't running right now, or they weren't running. Mm. I wonder if there's a better way to make limestone instead of just producing it. Limestone. Anything better here? Yeah, that's what I do. Hmm. Yeah, and then I need the sodium hydroxide. I suppose I could turn the sodium hydroxide into saline water, but wow, does that sound like a waste. Um. Yeah, it really, really does. So, what to do? Are you also coming for limestone? Yeah, he is. So we've got a constant three dinosaurs waiting here. So it's just, just there's nothing for it. Um, a lot more soil extractors. All right, let's go. We go and we do this again. Uh, we must make just another b entire belt of limestone leading into that uh, caravans area. I wish I could preference it, but at this point the demand is so great. Probably causing myself problems later on, but like, is this news to anyone here? No. This is just the life we live. Alright, we want you. And we're probably going to need, that was four. Uh, that's nine, that's ten, uh, that's twelve. 
12. It's 15. It's 20. And it's 20. We probably do not have enough landfill this time. We had too much last time, not enough this time. So. We are going to attempt to absolutely destroy this limestone problem. It is a primary uh, ingredient. There is no reason not to just try to completely obliterate it, you know? So, let's do that thing. That thing I just said. Which involves getting more of the thing. Which you might begin to suspect. I don't know where it is in my own factory. But I do know if I follow the stone lines, I'll get somewhere close. Yes, right over here. It's over this way. I knew where I was going. It, it, yeah, I knew exactly where I was going. I'm not lost. You're lost. Okay. Got the thing I need. So now we're just going to do exactly what we did before. We're going to put a giant finger out into the water. Maybe even getting close to the, the island. Or maybe there is treasure. And now we're just going to use it for the production of limestone from, from lake water. The lake which never ever uh, suffers any reduction in uh, uh, volume, no matter how much we suck out of it. It's also still blue, which is kind of an achievement. Uh, usually I have strongly negative impacts on the environment of the factory but things are going pretty good this time right well good for me oh uh, no do not do it yes do can we do this is this a good idea there's six. Okay, we need more water. Can help you with that, certainly. Here's twelve. Duh. Whip out the old cliff explosives. This place does not meet specifications. Now we have 18, right? Which leaves us to 20. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to go straight up to the coast like we did before. Just plug in the water pump. That's all right. This is just as fancy. Now we'll do it properly. Continually tickles me. These water pumps do not consume electricity. Ah, uh, physics. Physics has questions about this. All right. So right here, it's two for five, and I just put in 20. So that's what? Forty every five. So eight a second. And then comboed with what I did before, we just add 12 more a second. Problem is we are not correctly um, separating waste products from primary products anymore. Why is that popping right there? Don't know. Not going to inquire any further. Doesn't bother me that much. So right there, right there there. Is this going to actually solve my problems? Is this going to make things so much worse? Keep watching, kids. For this, these answers and so much more. All mysteries shall be revealed. Alright, we're going. From beginning to end, we're going. The great limestone conga line. Gyrating on every side. Everyone's has water. 
no water problems, right? Seems like we're doing just fine. Seems like everyone is getting what they need. So we have now a lot of limestone coming in. And yet another dinosaur waiting. Ah, uh, my problem is sodium hydroxide is not contributing at the correct spot anymore. I mean, luckily demand is so very high, but will it stay so high? Don't know. All right, anyway, shift gears. We're just going to assume we solve that problem. Adding, what, 16 limestone a second? That probably is going to contribute to a better state. If that state involves limestone. Um, so, we used to be up here. And now we're like 50% more. I mean, taking across the entire factory, it kind of makes sense. Anyway, next problem. We are going to increase coke production. And then we're going to increase graphite production. And then kerosene. Yeah, kerosene into... Um, uh, power. So, this is going to consume a lot of coal. It does not appear that we have a great excess of coal. This belt is not completely consumed, which is a good sign, but still, I, I worry for what I'm doing. Alright, so I need a shopping list. We need... Quenching tower times two. We need oxygen furnace. Furnace times two. We need pressure pump. Pressure pump times four. And that's really it, right? No, we need um, high pressure furnace times eight. All right, so simple stuff. Not even needed in huge quantities. So let's go do the thing, right? Um, funny, I need graphite when I just saw an entire belt completely back up on graphite. But remember, it's not about buffer. See, I was gonna tear this down, but this just took a hit, so not yet. Um, it's not about buffer. It's about input and output. Buffer. All buffers are can be considered empty. It's one of the reasons why um, hard modes, smaller container sizes are merely annoying. All right, give me two of you. Uh, oxygen furnace. We need just you refine. Uh, you want me to walk all the way back over there? Oh, big sad, big sad. Um, somehow survive, right? The worst thing that happens to me today is I have to spend more time in the factory. That's been a pretty good day. All right, actually, remember to pick up a block of refined concrete. All right, oxygen furnace, give me two. Then pressure pump, which is right here. We need steel for, which is like, okay, I'll do this. I'll be a hobo. Okay, that's four U's. Oh, and I already have six of those, so I only need two high pressure furnaces, which I can just make. All right, we got everything we need. How wonderful. Um one of the advantages of uh, dealing with fairly simple buildings. Alright, it's time for bots to shine. We're just going to be a copying and a pasting, my friends. And we're going to put up a whole new line, I think. So something like this. This, I believe, is correct, right? Let's put it down. 
Oh, we're gonna need more good arms. It's okay, we can make them. Are the bots faster? I cannot really tell. Oh, and unfortunately we're not gonna be able to do No oh, yeah, we can Yeah, we can do it. We might be able to do it. There we go. Yes, rework this to never use uh, uh, any underground pipes. Yeah, we could totally do this, but it removes a fast inserter, which may not be a great idea. Might be required to replace that. Right, like so, right? Anyway, that will void all the coke oven gas there. Bots, why are you slacking? There's work to be done, oh bots. Out into the fields with you. That looks weird at this specific zoom level. Strobing. Alright, so, what we want now is just to turn this sucker on, right? So in theory, there should be nothing more we need to do, right? Oh wait, there's a... there's something we need to do. Okay. So we'll do this right here. Alright, so. So, so. You need fuel, and your fuel is just the same as everything else. And you need to ash out the same as everything else. Straight on to there. Alright, you're running. And it looks like we're probably completely denuding this belt now. Not really what I want. I mean, not at all what I want. Um, hmm. I could have... I had a... I thought... I wanted, I was, uh, I had so many hopes and dreams once, then I spoke those most terrible of all words. I think I'd like to play Factorio. My life forever changed, possibly for the better, um, optimistically for the better, maybe, maybe not. Alright, so... Probably gonna have to get more coal. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh. So I placed this. Placed all of this in a very awkward spot. Can I get one more? Le no, I can't. I cannot get one more out of it. Alright. So you go this way. Of course we need more fast inserters here. We don't have enough. It's only three. Three's not enough to clear a belt. So you go there. And over here you go there. Alright, so. We have now added an additional line. This is now completely flowing this way. Hmm, looks like we, we do have a complete solid belt of coal coming in. Oh, what's going on? Why are you stuck? Don't be stuck. Being stuck is for losers. Why? Oh, we don't have enough. We don't have any. Oh, okay. Alright, now you're going... And you just don't have enough uh, coal coming in. So, better question mark? I don't know. I think this is by far the most efficient coal to coke conversions. 20 coal. It's 4 coal per red hot coke. So this means it's 24 coal to 30 coke. That's it is very efficient right there. That's good. Um, 
it looks like it only really overflows when this is backed up. Otherwise it doesn't work. And so what's our... What is the coal consumption a second here? It's high. It's like 7 a second. And this is... So between these it's 14 a second. And this one belt is 15 units a second. So yes, these two will eat an entire belt with occasional overflow. So this is... Uh, what we want, this is not it. Um, maybe we can help a little bit, right? Oh no, come on guys. Alright. Maybe we can help just a little. Then input priority from the other way. Then it will be balanced here. And we will now be feeding in like one and a half belts of coal, I think. This is all a mess. <laughs> the logic here, I'm pretty sure, is no longer anywhere close to logical. Ah, here, have some coke. Put this on the belt. Do I have any coal dust too? I usually pick up all the things, right? Alright, so that's definitely going to remain a full belt. The bad balancer. I'm going to stop doing this because it doesn't work. I'm going to do a balancer, do one that works, right? Is that something I should endeavor for? only use designs that actually perform according to what that design should be. There you go. And consider it's also fueling itself with all this, so yes, um, there should be no expectations that anything pass through, but now that I've added a different line, those expectations are different. Alright, so, it looks like we may have successfully increased coke production. Uranium processing hasn't moved in a while. I wonder what this was about. That suggests an inefficiency. Um, that suggests a rather large inefficiency. Let's check again. Coke. Let's read this graph, right? We have surges to quite high, but then it stops. Why? I never want to stop. What would... Like, the only way I would accept that as a proper... as something that is okay to happen is if on the oil processing side, it ran out of oil, and it can no longer make... Uh, it's not making coke because it doesn't have the inputs. This is not a good explanation. Here, let's go put up a Megadar while we wait. No, we can't. I, won't, I need to camp this. I want to see this hit full up. Uh, once it does that, I will feel comfortable putting up another dinosaur. But we still have to investigate that. Oh, tech is moving. It's just moving slow. So, oh, what's going on with you? What is going on with you? Oh, you got stuck. And then had to find your way through. So you came here and you had your needs met just in time. Alright, we gotta go investigate something. Uh, and the thing we're gonna invent Now this is obviously stealing a whole lot of coal from this. Which is the downside. We are almost certainly going to have to increase coal production beyond the wall. Not coal production. Okay, I suppose it is kind of coal production, but um, raw coal refining. Um, build another stack on the other side of the wall. Copper's doing well, though. Anyway, the only reason there should ever be a drop in coke production is if coke inputs are not there. When I see that drop, I think maybe there's not enough dinosaurs getting it out. Like I expect to see a completely full 
like no no do not want this i think maybe i have uh store food come here fill your cargo and then go up to the main coke dump right there i want you to empty that cargo like there's no excuse for what i'm seeing right here and if there if i come back and i see this again i'll add another dinosaur all right uh a megadar put up a megadar right at the corner right here right by niobium i have to head that way anyway because uh, i need to go check on limestone see what the state of limestone is is everything is going to change when sodium hydroxide kicks on that limestone that's produced needs to be given preference and i'm not giving it any particular deference right now and i feel that is a problem bam is that good no it's too far let's move back a couple blocks right here there more of the factory is lit we understand more than we did for power power generations at a low ebb um we also have to complete the cycle we did not come here to inflate our coke stat we came here to make more graphite um so i'm gonna have to do something about that all right so this is what i want to see slash don't want to see i am glad there's no one waiting for limestone i am afraid of what will happen when we actually need more there's no limestone draw here what we need is here we'll fix this right now what just happened here I like when the pipes are destroyed um made um, right here. We want the limestone to go that way, right? Output priority to the, that side. But sometimes, just sometimes, it's not enough. So it has to come out this way. Just put in line. And in this case, we still want to get rid of it. This is limestone, what must be destroyed. Um will of course account for this and the factory is yet to come it is in the design the core design in my head dinosaur you got a job i want you to go over here and i want you to store food and i want you to come here and i want right here and i want you to fill that cargo and then i want you to take it up to the destruction area right there the limestone destruction curve uh output what we have previously identified and you do this for see look like we're about to hit this situation right now we get to see in real time because this almost backed up and choked we need uh, a limestone uh, request to be made but nothing is being made right now okay a limestone request was made now we get to actually see this happening in, in real time. Again, this thing is, this is not the correct way to balance. Um, I like I know these things, despite the fact I know them. They cannot actually seem to perform correctly. There, A nice full balancer, taking it on both sides. All right, this is flowing in nicely. It's not being used first first because we have a competing line right here but we are rapidly rearming okay gonna assume that's okay for right now okay slash better slash different enough i don't have to care about <laughs> let us go glance at the coke situation coke situation is full up and that's what we want to see and we have a dinosaur trying to deliver more coke we have we have reached maximum coke um 
So we need to find a place to make graphite. And I guess we just do it outside the wall, right? Why not? Need two caravans. Have two caravans. Expose them. It'd be better if I did it, like, right here. Yeah, let's do it right there. Going outside the wall for something like this is highly questionable. We should try to check in on seaweed. Okay, we're good on limestone for right now. Everything's flowing in. Okay, just gonna assume everything's okay right there. And if I need more seaweed, I need another belt, which is a scary thought. That amount of seaweed. What sort of world can contain that level of seaweed? What I want right now was that area I pointed out right here. This awkward area, which is now going to be home to graphite makers. So, thank you. Are you even going to have enough space? I kind of don't have enough space, eh? Alright, so over here. Alright, Sue. You just want to stick a couple... Mr. Dinosaur, please take a lap. Um, what's your demand on Coke? Um... We want graphite. That's what everyone wants to do. You want five for three, and we have eight, so it's 40 for three. That's under a belt, but it's basically a belt, so plan accordingly, eh? We're probably going to need to go get more of these, right? Circuit boards. We don't have any, and that's the wrong number to have right now. And then we will have accomplished two goals today. That was gone and dealt with limestone we have gone and dealt with graphite then probably check and see how don't like seeing this probably need to do something I know I this never backs up now so maybe that's what what's really at stake here just the possible throughput is so low because of splitters and this is directly affecting this. It's like maybe it's just splitting too much. And I really do just have to put in a dedicated seaweed terminal right here. I mean, I believe that's possible. Uh, but we're going to wait and see if seaweed backs up first. You know? We didn't... We, we had a line at the salad bar up there. Before we uh, massage the... Uh, demand profile. We should just make sure that we have excess, right? This is logical. So, right here. And we need a caravan's area. Really kind of awkward how close it is. But, it will work out. You are making a full belt of coke. Bang, bang, bang. Alright, I feel confident enough to task a dinosaur to go fetch me my Coke. Right there, right there, store food. Right there, and then up to the Coke Depot, what we have fortified. Fill cargo. I think we probably overreacted uh, when we built out more Coke production, and in fact correct answer was use the coke production I actually have. I should have read the chart better or you know at all before I went and actually started making changes in the world. But how can increasing primary production be a sin? Answer it is not a sin. Then we have graphite out. No, you guys aren't totally in line. Okay, select that. 
All right, so you need three thing, five things in every three seconds. So it's going to be three of you, and then one out. You really shouldn't be doing it like this. You need two in, probably two out. And this is what we're going with. This, this, this. All right, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so this is additional graphite makers online. I declare this good. Dinosaur, I need you to do a job for me. This job involves going and getting food. Then I want you to come here and I want you to fill your cargo. And then I want you to go to the central graphite depot right here. I want you to empty that cargo. This is the central graphite depot. See, needs help. Okay, Mr. Dinosaur, on your way. Um, so yeah, thus ends the major goals for this time. Let's go check on artillery shells. Probably isn't quite time to go out again. Um, there was about one embassy stored up at the beginning of the episode. This is good. Ah, we might fill up. We might. This is a good sign. Yeah, this is a real good sign right here. All right, so everyone's venting appropriately. Well, you were backed up. It was backed up at one point. That's a good sign, too. All right. We'll check in periodically. Let's go look at artillery shells and just kind of rub them. Just rub our cheeks against them, you know? Yes. Just give me more artillery shells. I will I will send them out. I will use them to, to make the world better. Not just different. Quantifiably better. We need more oil. We are completely working our way through all of the crude oil we have. So one of the things we have to do is... Um, barrel out some fluid and open up a new well. That's fine. I can go do that. How are we doing here? Actually, what are we stuck on? Same thing we're always stuck on, so I'm fine. How are we doing here? Stuck on glycerol. And see as how skin is backing up, I really should increase uh, glycerol production. We have a lot of shells. Okay. Things are going well there. Maybe we'll wait to the beginning of next episode instead of right now. Why is power so low? Like, I hardly believe that. Um, and here I am about to put more power online. Well, it'll get used, right? Um, yeah, we are almost ready to begin our push to uh, Mechanical Parts 2. And we are obviously pushing everywhere here, down here, and that is also good. So, let me, let me think. Thing, I need oil, Derek, right? Oil, 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 Derek, yeah. How do I get a better oil, Derek? Oil, Derek. Oh, I think you have that now, ish. And it has everything I need, right? Huh. Huh. Anyway, uh, oil, Derek. It's what I got today. And then I gotta go get some. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, I gotta go get the barrels of. Mining fluid, drilling fluid, right? Which I believe I left over here, feels like years ago, right here. We actually prepared ourselves for this, which is kind of shocking. Um, leave some of our stuff here, right? Not, not anything functional, certainly. 
just some of the stuff here. Let's pick this up here. Let's pick this all up. Pick this all up. Pick this all up. And then I believe our target is, oh, excuse me, this, which is quite close to the other ones, yeah? The only thing that stopped me from taking it earlier was, of course, it's beyond the wall. Beyond the wall used to be a no-go zone, but now it's a go-go-go zone. Then this will allow me to saturate the current refining capability, uh, which is good, and then I can then maybe make another kerosene. Here, I should stop in and see Coke while I'm here. Maybe put in another kerosene maker. Well, it's obviously backed up. There's no other reason for that to be happening. Oh. It was backed up. And this guy's going to come and he's going to get in line. So, looks like it was hit like 10 seconds ago. Now it's filling back up and this guy has to wait. I should go check the one over by the mining sector too, but I'll be over there shortly. So, oh, don't go this way. That way's blocked. Keep doing that. So, right here, right? Yes. Our friend, the bitumen seep. Um, you go right here. Then what we need is one of these. That, right? What? Needs an exothermic irrigation. You. Once you're powered, it starts to go, right? Then you start ticking down. I think. No, that's not where it goes. Excuse me. Oh, I just I just obliterate a lot of drilling fluid. Dang. Alright, that's where it has to go. Alright. There we go. And you need power too, I guess. It's going. Where's it going? Um, where is it going? It's not ticking down. Should it not be ticking down? Maybe I shouldn't be putting it this close. Um, yeah, that doesn't seem like a rational idea. actually work. It's definitely ticking down. This number isn't ticking down. Why? Um Huh, this is a little worrying, isn't it? There we go. Now it's going. Okay, so it was messed up somehow. Not sure exactly how, but we're almost certainly not going to get through it with this, right? Every 10 takes one tick off there. So yeah, we're going to have multiple trips here and back. That's fine. I should probably get more barrels. Ah, uh, and just fill up the return journey. And then we can start inspecting kerosene and do some math there. We don't have a problem with power right this second, but we will have a power pro with a problem with power. So I should just prepare for the future, yeah? Yeah. So awesome. Just make a whole bunch of barrels, would you? Actually, make an automated factory. Oh, not a gearboxes. Wow. 
factory box. Automated factory. We're just going to set this up to work in my absence. So still no graphite here. We should step in, or stop in, rather. Make sure that's working correctly. Seaweed pressure increasing. Should I be going up there with preference? Output priority to the left. Yeah, I do not know if I just did a good thing or not. I did a thing. Let's just assume it's right. Um, drilling fluid, right here. I'm gonna go get my stuff. All right, your job is automated factory. Just fill her up. Uh, right there. Only I want that stuff. There we go. Make barrels. Bang barrels. Bang. Yeah, that's what we want. We probably can do faster. Yeah, do it faster. There we go. And we'll even put a hole. Well, if we're doing it like that, right? We kind of have to do it like this. We're kind of obligated, right? Commutative speed of hands or something. I don't know. So it's not flowing here at all. Just not at all. No seaweed comes this way. Uh, it's backing up ever so slowly. I bet we don't actually need rubber. We just need to take care of this. Oh, it's backing up pretty well, honestly. Now it's backing up to here, and now we should start trickling through. But this is not going to be enough, right? Like this trickle that comes out right here, this is not going to be enough. So, 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 this is actually fairly important, the seaweed line. Is it comes through here, and it ends up here. And this is, yeah. Yeah, calling this important is a little bit of an understatement. So, um, right here, dinosaur. We have a new primary consumer of seaweed. Store food, go up here, get seaweed. Yeah, you're going to have to get in line. Come back down here. Empty car. Do this forever. Go. Bang, 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 bang. Over here and into here. I don't even think we need to care which side is used more you now. We're going to have to be checking in on this, but for right now, this is a solution. Let's go look at graphite. Let's go look and see if we have actually done something good. Or maybe just done something different. Right here. This looks good to me. We're eating the entire coal belt, essentially. Turning it all into graphite. Everything's going. I bet this could be a nice spike. Graphite. Yeah, look at that. We used to live like at 180. Now we're up at double that. Yeah, that's going to work out. And you're just filled up. No, wait. Where is the dinosaur here? This dinosaur is dealing with that. Are we perhaps struggling to vent graphite? Is that where we are in life? Because if so, this will grant me the ability 
to go and increase the amount of silicon wafers we're making. Um, over south, to the south, in the old, uh, yeah, graphite. No. No, we are not fully backed up here. Well, there's less of a line. Let's just assume this is going to work, right? <laughs> that's, that's the best way to go through life. Yeah, this is going to work. Yeah, this is totally going to work. Um, and that means this is no longer the bottleneck, because this used to be. And now this is the bottleneck. And therefore, I will simply double you. And no more bottleneck here. And we will be well into just mass production of all advanced electronics. Again, necessary for... Um... Uh, electronics Mach 2, again necessary for uh, mechanical parts 2, and a bunch of other fun stuff. Oh, you have to make a shaft by hand? Don't do that. Just don't. Do not do that thing. Don't do that. That is dumb. Speaking of dumb, there's also this pathway right here. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I did it. I probably should have known that I was low on shafts when I was also low on uh, gearboxes. But, you know, just information hitting my eyes and information actually penetrating to, to my cortex. Uh, two distinctly different phenomena. And just because one happens in no way implies the other is going to happen. So, right there. Set it up, please. Wire it up. I suppose the question is now, can I vent all this flu gas? How much gas can we put out? Not much. A hundred every eight seconds? So it's like a hundred a second or so, just call it like that. We should probably be fine. It looks like it takes three seconds to vent a hundred, so no, we're not fine. Filter. Go get iron plate. Alright, fine, I'm gonna do this thing. At least we're fairly close to the core here. Uranium processing is coming. I should probably do that with priority. Biakua's, um... I need the bullets. Filter. You need bullets to successfully speak, to cast, speak with locals. Speak with bugs. It, it requires a, several material components. High velocity. It's difficult to make material components. It's more funny when you imagine that I'm just shooting cows at them. Because that's kind of what's going on. Oh, I don't have enough hands for this. Super duper embarrassing. I make some. Yeah. Super duper embarrassing. My mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. All right, so there we go. We got both of these running. That's enough. So wafers, not a problem. Hopefully, at least. And then the whole goal of that is to finally overwhelm MOSFETs. We have MOSFETs. That's not filling up. So like right here, we need this. And these are, this is silicon wafers, basically. And they are last in line. And they don't really enjoy their position in life. But hopefully, by making it rain raw wafers, we can then run these 24-7. This is finished 7,000. This is finished 7. We want to we change that. I have a vision to make this different. We're still not using all of this. So that might change as it uh, leads out. Anyway, let's take a look. Wefa. So it used to be... 
intermittent. It's still kind of intermittent. But now the peak is much higher, and hopefully we won't run out of graphite. It's intermittent because of graphite. So we'll just have to check in with, on this periodically. Um, right here, you're still struggling. This is not struggling, and that's good. This is just continually to... Oh, we've got so many artillery shells. So at the end of this episode, or at the beginning of next episode, it has to be a combat session. Um, I'm glad they're coming more often, because I have a whole lot of combat what needs doing. So right here is now what I'm looking at. I am making kerosene somewhere. It's down here, right? Yeah, kerosene. All right. And for... I'm just going to assume... Oh, we're making grease right here. Don't look at this. Kerosene. It takes low distillates and titanium tetrachloride. And right now, low distillates are, are overflowing. They're actually for real overflowing. So... We're just going to assume, all right, this guy right here, it makes 100 and, 150 divided by 4. Uh, 37 kerosene a second, and I know the kerosene uh, thingy, the kerosene oil factory, uh, consumes 6.66 a second, which means that one of these can support five comfortably, six intermittently. So. We're going to see if we can throw in 10. Um, and then we're going to see what happens. Then right here, we're going to do further math. This produces 500 molten salt every 20 seconds. So 500 divided by 20 is, as we all knew, okay, not times 20 divided by 20, 25 a second, 25 molten salt a second. So that will be with 10, 250 fully charged molten salts a second. And if we run down here, um, you will see right here, this 200 molten salt to 75 pressurized steam, all right? So 200 divided by 75, each molten salt is 2.666 pressurized steam. No, every pressurized steam is it's the other thing. So it's 75 divided by 200. Every uh, 0.375, no wait. Every molten salt is 0.375 steam. So 350 a second times 0.375 is 94 pressurized steam a second. Great. And then 94 pressurized steam. Uh, and then here in the power side of things, it takes 60 a second and makes 473 megawatts. So 473 megawatts divided by 60 means that every unit of molten of, of steam produces uh, 7.9 megawatts. So over here at 74 a second times 7.9 megawatts means that 10 of these will produce 740 megawatts of power. So almost a gig. So good. All right, perfect. Um, I should do a pi psi one thing, right? To relieve pressure. Oh, I gotta power my way to beacons. Beacons have to happen. Um, that means I have to research all this stuff. What else? What else was I going for? Beacons are necessary, but not right now, I guess. What were my goals? I really need to stop doing this. It waste time. Um. Beacons, this this could be done. I don't have the mechanical parts, though, so researching it is pointless at this time. Oh, researching this. I know we were bottlenecked on this in a lot of ways. We're not going to make these until the factory yet to come. We can have them, you know? All right, so do that. Um, right, so let's trot out. Oh, we're going to need to add a whole lot of molten salt to this area. 
and make nine more oil power plants. This should require a huge amount of material, right? Oil power plant. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a lift. Um, oh, good. We have a whole lot of molten salt we can just add in right here. Do that now. Let's drain out, my friend. Drain out. Good. Good. I can pump you out. That might be even better. For right now, just drain out. Alright. It's time to spend quite a lot of time just building stuff. It's so low when I just put a whole bunch more in. I mean, a ton more in. How is this? Oh, it's not connected. This is in fact connected to nothing. It is one with nothing. Give me a pump. Why would I do that? This is the buffer right here. Oh, and this is... Did I separate it? I did separate it. I must have had an idea what I was doing. It does not necessarily need to be a good idea, but it does have to be an idea. Alright, so I guess these guys need to be connected, or just not. This strikes me as an incomplete area, where I had ideas and they were bad ideas. At least we have some pressure in here. How is the buffer? The buffer is perfect. Wonderful. Alright, it's time to build a whole lot of stuff. Uh, it's probably going to strip me completely out of iron. One, two, three, four, five in two rows. Yeah, perfect. Death to trees. All these things, no. How much pollution do you make? It certainly looks like you pollute. Um, doesn't... Oh, 15 a minute. That's fairly polluting. Not like major, major polluting. But then I put in 10. Luckily, the green wall will so, uh, absorb... A lot of that, hopefully. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to need another block of mechanical parts. Just Maybe I won't, actually. I don't like how few mechanical parts I have. What am I missing? Is it just still battery? It can't be battery still. I am very suspicious of this. I should go investigate. So, over here, all right, it's time. Everything in a box. Get in a box, get in a box. Uh, in a box, all of you. I need more hands. But I suppose it's not necessary for this specific activity. Because uh, everything just flows. All right, good enough. Let's build a whole lot of big things. Oil power plants. Oh, I also have to put in the kerosene generator for this. So we're going to need nine gas refineries. Let's just start there. Gas refinery. No. Gas refinery? Yeah. You know, a whole lot of pipe. A whole lot of everything. We get some bunch of minute and metallics. So this is going to take a while. Bang bang. Where's this even at? Gas refinery? Gas refinery? Right there. Intermetallics, a 
whole lot of simple circuit boards. Got those. Small parts. Got those. Stone. Do not got that. All right. Go and grab from dinosaur what be right here. All right. What else? Where'd you go? Gas right there. Um, you're gonna need a lot of Duralumin, what I don't have, and I mean, I need a lot of Duralumin overall. So, Dennis, you're getting mugged. All this is coming with me, and I'm probably gonna need more. I'll be back. I need a whole lot of steel plate. Do I have the bricks? I do have the bricks. A whole lot of steel. A whole lot of iron. I'm going to run this factory out of iron. Um, what else? Glass. Get a bunch of glass. Not as much as everything else, but still a bunch. Um, right. Is the seaweed actually arriving? Yes. Good. So that's probably going to relieve a problem there. Um, what else do you suppose I need? Just raw copper? I wonder if that's uh, copper wire, or that is uh, over here needing inductors. Gas refinery. So, probably just needs raw copper, huh? All right. No. All right. No, just out of iron already. It's already making small parts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna explode. Yep. Yeah, I knew I was gonna explode. <clears throat> Alright. I probably should have moved to a clear area to do that. Especially since I knew it was gonna happen. Alright, so. Situation is not nearly enough small parts in the inventory. Um, I can no longer make any now. Oh, so I gave away all my iron. How, how can you still need more? How can they be so greedy? Where I give so much and still they howl for more. That's five. At six, go get iron, it says. So that's going to be seven. Go get more pipe, it says. All right, we're not dealing with that. We're going to go run and get a whole honk of pipe. I will be back. Um, but that's six gas refineries. I need nine. This is but one ingredient, keep in mind. Um, yeah, I definitely have to increase glycerol from skin production. That should be hard. All I have is just one belt. Just sodium hydroxide and uh, skin. So all I have to do is, like, move it over just a little bit. You can see that the... The vat brain is still going. Um, what's our backup? It's still Pi Psi 1. That shouldn't be, right? Right. Uh, gas refinery. Like, it just shouldn't be. Because, um... We should have solved or at least greatly relieved the rubber problem. Alright, there's all the gas refineries we need. Um, goal again is to make oil power plants. It's oil, right? And not gas. Here, let's check the, the Piopedia. Um, um, 
does tell me, right? All right. Oil power plant requires a gas refinery, and this doesn't. All right, I say it's an oil refinery, oil power plant. So we need destructive distillation in quantity nine. Destruct. Make one more. I need more iron, which I just ran away from. Let's use this box instead of anything else. And it's just getting the raw ingredients for everything. Which I can do, don't get me wrong. Like, I know I'm going to need a ton of raw iron, so I might as well just use this box. And destruct. Alright, so. Oil refinery. Oil power plant. We need 200 pipe each. And we don't have enough pipe. We have... Looks like... Close to enough, but not enough. And, uh, yeah, it's not helping. All right. We need two full lines of it. We don't have it. We need 40 ilm metallics a piece. We don't got that. We need even more pipe for steam engines. It's like oh, 20 steam engines a piece, 200 small parts. It's like, all right, just start. Make it them one at a time, then it's gonna run me out of absolutely everything, and that's just something I'm gonna have to live with. I'm gonna be scrounging for iron with my bare hands after this. That's okay. It's the life of a factory owner. Oh, good. Give me these two. All right. So I made one. Go get a bunch of inner metallics and a bunch of simple circuit boards. We need need eight more that's one two three blocks of inner metallics and we need a lot of circuit boards we need 800 so that's the entire cache right here yes yes now we need a whole bunch of steel two three four five six let's not overdo it right we need all the small parts in the world. Um, that needs raw iron. Uh, so I have two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, and then we're making pipe seven. You'll get more iron, it says. It's going to be a long time. Seven. I should... I should have thought of this a long time ago. And... Like, had an activity planned. <laughs> it's going to be a while for these to build. Seven. Eight. One more. Still more, it says. Nine. Oh, you're making small parts? No. We're not quite that hard up. We have an entire bin of small parts. Maybe we'll go on a patrol. Go, um... Maybe we'll go set these in place and just let them be ghosts for right now. That seems like probably the best idea, right? There we go. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. We have done something good. We can be happy and proud of what we're done. And keep in mind, this isn't all Biakua's. Um, I have to put in, like, what I'm going to do is just hop it and then do more right here, you know? That seems like just a fine idea. Um, we also don't have the appropriate amount of kerosene production. Ten is way too much for a single producer. Um, but in the end, we won't have a single producer. Yes, you gotta go right there. And it's gonna be... I won't be able to line them up like I did before. I have to do this, right? Then give it a little space. Sue? You should be running, right? 
answer, of course, being should. Now you're going and you're going. We are going to run ourselves right out of kerosene at the end of this. And that's... Should I go the other way and do it like this? That's a pretty good idea, right? We just have a couple other rails. So we'll have a hot a rail right here, and we'll have a uh, cool rail. And we get to do this. There, that's eight. Let's put in nine and ten right here. All right, and as they pop up, we will deal with them. Oh, none of this has to exist. Here, undo, undo. Out you go into my pockets. Then, <laughs> yeah, this is this is a while away. This is like five minutes of handcrafting, of hard, intense handcrafting. Almost makes me wish I was playing the game properly. Ah, but not really. Okay, in. Kind of worried. I'm not gonna have enough pipes hold in or fuel in I should probably finish doing this fuel in good and paste there except for that paste Okay. You should have everything you need, right? And you do. And in fact, you are going. Kind of wish it wasn't completely blocked off in the middle. But you know, it's alright. Ish. We are going to run ourselves completely out of kerosene. We're not going to call that fine. We're just going to call that life. Okay. Fortunately, there's no way to pause from handcrafting to, you know, insert something. I kind of want to insert the, the heavy refinery in there. Ah, there we go. There's another one. Uh, why aren't you going, sir? Should you not have the molten salt? Oh, this side isn't hooked up. Um, yeah, okay. The answer is no, he cannot do his job. He does not have what he needs. Glad I looked at that. Because the same problem is going to be happening right here, right? Yeah. We have a, a dearth of molten salt in the system. You're having trouble venting. Which is the ideal condition, right? Which is the universal condition of all of the power generators in the factory. All right, so this is fine. There's no molten salt because it's not being consumed. Um, you are going, however. You still can't vent very much. Now I think I'm probably going to have to put in more, uh, more of these, right? No, oh, you're not even going because you're completely full up again. Um, each one of these you can all process. So I put in 10, it was 25 seconds, so it's 250 hot molten salt a second at peak. So I do think I need like two more of these. Probably more. Probably getting himself, myself into trouble doing anything less than that. But anyway, let's go turn the uh, particle accelerator back on. And it will be a sustained burn, because it's got so much... Uh, 
Ah, so much backed up behind it. That's fine. And I think we're going to do a run around, and then I think we're going to wrap for the day. It's going to be a bit of a short episode, I think. I'm not going to go out and put embassies out. I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Yeah, it's time to turn you back on. And wall. We might be able to actually sustain this now. The question is, of course, do I want to turn this one on first? Not this one, but this one. So I don't, I think we're completely quiet here. But they kind of have to be going in sequence, in, in tandem, because of plutonium peroxide. Mm, I think this one has to be run for a while first. So let's turn this off. Here. I said, let's turn this off. There you go. And turn this off, I said. Good. Alright, let's run you for a few hours. We'll deal with uh, getting our uranium another way. So, this is going to be a hard, continuous burn of... Uh, uh, power. So our main problem at the moment is we don't have any uh, kind of super backed up on 239. It's because this system isn't going. The problem is we're going to need more peroxide eventually. But we're all backed up here, so we'll just let that happen for the moment. Yeah, we need more of this. We need more of that. Yeah, 242 is a common one, so that should be pretty easy. Oh, that's all nuclear sample right there. So good. All right, we're just going to let this go for a bit. Um, and then check in on power generation. Uh, let's actually plan for what else we need. We need another um, heavy oil refinery, right? in order to make the kerosene to make all of this even vaguely possible. So, let's go handle that. Yeah, yeah. We need heavy oil refinery, yes? And we also need a whole lot of heat pipe, which is... Oh, I don't want to... It's an actual... is kind of an actual good walkway. Maybe I build on it and just apologize to God later. All right, heavy oil refinery. Oh, I just press this button. It's gonna be a while. I'll get it. And meanwhile, let's go down here. I'm gonna need some heat pipe. One, two, three, four. At least four is the minimum happy case. All right, there we go. Bang and bang. All you guys are in. You're missing molten salt. That's just because you're at the very end and it's completely full. Everything is in hot molten salt right now. Which is good-ish. Ish. ish. Um, indicates that there might be problems somewhere else, but... This is going to utterly punk the power generation for a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, straight across the walkway. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry for those things, what I must do. These terrible deeds I accomplish. Um, so, we hook you up like this. Bang, bang. Bang. We should have just enough pipe, right? Let's come straight across here. In right that. And we have to find a way to get this over. The answer is to do this. And we 
probably work blind for a little bit. We hope we've connected. We haven't. There we go. Now we connect. Alright, Sue. You should be working as hard as you can. So now we have two kerosene makers. That should keep all of those fueled even in the highest draw circumstances. Now we need two of the heat exchanger, right? Not you, not you, but you. For which we need just more iron. Eternally, the mo- oh, don't like seeing this the most wacky of outcomes. Um, why don't we have melamine? Uh, let's go look. Well, that's churning. Why no melamine? No, no, it's down here. Why no melamine, I ask? Really? Not for sure the melamine was right around here. No, it is. It's right here. No ammonia. This happens periodically and I do not understand it. I can possibly bypass a lot of this. Okay, good. No formic acid. There's a problem up here. What is our problem? This looks like only overflow formic acid goes out there. Like because it's used in internal processes, right? Now we need, we need formamide, which we need ammonia for. So ammonia is the problem. But all these guys are pumping. Yeah, that needs formic acid and cyanic acid. It makes just an absolute ton of ammonia, but does it slowly. And then some of the ammonia, I don't know. I know we're barreling a lot of it for bedding, but that, we should have already passed peak bedding, you know? So how do I read this? Form a mead. What would cause this? It must mean there's some inherent imbalance. Or maybe, yeah, yes, right here, this is what causes this. We don't have enough coal. All right, let's go take a jaunt. Are you a coal sore? Is this your job? No, it's not his job. He does not have to care about my concerns. He is being paid to handle other areas. So let's go this way. Yeah. Huh. So, it's completely, completely backed up. And there's no one waiting, so that was probably the, the dinosaur right there. So what is going on here? So it's all coming down this way, and some is not even venting. So, this has to not be like this. Well, it's not going to help. Yakua's um, um, look at all these that aren't even venting. How? Are you, but they're not getting onto this this belt. I guess there was a big draw on coke. And there's still a big draw on coke, which pulled this in. But these guys aren't going. Um, this is balancing appropriately for how it's done. Do I want to output here with priority? But that's just going to block up those guys. This is supposed to be extra. Hmm. Do I give greater priority here? My doing good or making it worse. 
because like we're not getting the material to where it needs to go yet we have hands that aren't moving you know I have concerns I just gotta build out more we don't have enough coal processing there's no other way to put it All right, that guy's just gonna mug it then you're gonna wanna go here and I bet yeah that's the ammonia maker so I betcha, 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 we ran clean out of uh, raw coal, and we couldn't start that process. Now, soon I should get that atomization tech, uh, the, the, the atomizer, to turn meat into cyanic acid. And that will very much help, because then I won't be turning coal into cyanic acid. Um, that's not a world I live in right now. Let's just go get everything while we're so close. And then we will put in another regenerative heat exchanger and then uh, another set of them, actually. I don't think we actually have to put in any additional um, turbines, though I might be incorrect on that. I'm almost certainly incorrect on that. We'll see. Some more belt, please. Not that much more, though. Alright, so let's go install this and then we'll take a tour of everything one more time. And then we'll do wrap up and that'll be it for today. Next episode, we'll start with combat as I ha should have a lot, and I mean a lot, of artillery shells saved up by then. Should probably be a four embassy session really push them on the southern front maybe even the northern front too northern front will be efficient because i can take down others ah uh, this isn't where i want to be i want to run this way run 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 to race the sun and i'm gonna have to do something about rubber uh, and i don't want to <laughs> oh what we stuck on that's lard how is moose doing Muck moo. I didn't think about moose the entire episode. I mean, it's not good. But we're, we are processing them appropriately. Or maybe we're not. Mm -hmm. I mean, that deserves to be looked into. Yeah, we have a lot of shells saved up. That's good. Alright, two more heat exchangers put in right here and I should just a copy and just a paste right just right here straight into right here right just right just do it right make it work Oh, I feel like I probably connected something I shouldn't. Oh, I feel like I just did something bad. Yeah, this should be pressurized steam and it is not. Yeah. I'm gonna need... Pull up all this, right? Can I flush this? I don't know. Yes. Okay, I can clean it out of there. Uh, and this should not be this. I need a pump. Um. Alright, let's think about what I'm doing first. Um, we want to pump this dry. So excuse me a moment. Here, fixing and processing there. There. And that is, see that's not where it needs to be. Was it never like this? Was it always wrong? Because this is this is just wrong and oh because it's not this was never supposed to be there 
Oh, that probably caused me some pain. But then how is this supposed to get in? Huh. Many questions. All right, so no pressurized. See, okay, this is one problem right here that cannot hold. So this was just incorrect thing that I did. So move it over. It's almost certainly wrong too. All right, so you are still not going and you are not going because you don't have any access to pressurized water. Just because this was clipped by me in order to survive the problems at hand. Probably need more pressure pumps, right? Let's put in two more. These guys seem like they're working really hard. Yeah, it's a shortage. Mm. They're not connected, these two systems. It means they're not helping each other. This is very, very, very poorly designed. The individual who did this did not know what he was doing. You know, sometimes you, you try to be polite and say, like, well, there's room for improvement here, but no. This individual did not, I repeat, did not know what he was doing. But let's do this. Oh, it's getting worse, by the way. Is this any more easy to read? No, at least the both sides are connected together. All right, so now this is getting that, and you cannot vent out. You're not getting in, but you can vent out. How do we handle this problem elsewhere? Um, well, looks like we space it a lot farther for one thing. So, all right, start with that. Maybe in the future I will do better. Maybe I'm doomed to perform at this level forever. Have I peaked? Is this it? Is my life functionally over? Have I already been the best I will ever be? And now there's nothing but a slow decline. See, this is wrong. Don't do that. This is okay. Yes, this is fine. You get in there and you get there and you have all the vent you want then this is fine. There. Now you get that and you get to contribute. Yay! Contributing. And then right here, right there, right there. Now you contribute. So helpful. So this goes this way, this goes that way, this goes right there, this goes right there, and this is... Power draw has been very sharp. Something, something. Um, oh, where is the particle accelerator? Why is the hot molten salt not uh, doing its thing? Anyway, so you need to get rid of your cold molten salt. What a strange thing to say. You and I both comment. The cold molten salt. You will come over here and you will get your pressurized water. Alright, so you you now work, you now work, everyone now works. Except perhaps I have ruined everything in some way. But 
How is this? The AUG's still working. How is this? I say. Because we should all be running. Every last one of you. We don't have any pressure in the hot molten salt. All right. Yeah, you're going too. All you are going, right? Everyone here goes. So, we should be able to see... Oh, it's your problem. You're not hooked up. There you go. There. Now you're going too. You're also not contributing because that's not there. That is, in fact, my fault. There, you're both draining out. Glad I came and looked, right? You have the exact same problem. There you go, you go, you go. We are now circulating the molten salt appropriately, and this is going to be Pollution City. Not so much as the oil refinery, but still, Pollution City. Alright, so this should affect hot molten salt pressure, and indeed it appears it is. Yeah, we now have all sorts of hot molten salt. You just cannot vent your steam. You are hooked up appropriately, and our steam battery is going full out. Alright, this is now fully hooked up. It is time to do one more sweep. We're going to deliver more drilling fluid up to our new oil well. Uh, we are going to look in and see how everything is doing. We're going to see why this particle accelerator isn't running. It's probably because it is intrinsically linked to the uranium one, and we have simply run out of peroxide or some such. No, it should definitely be going. It has all the fancy powder. Oh, it cannot vent 239. Cannot vent 239. We have a, an overflow of it. I want output priority to the right. No, this isn't what I want. Um... I want to go literally anywhere else, but if it can go nowhere else, I want you to output priority to the left. I want you to come here, and we simply box it up. I I don't know what we're going to do with this stuff. Ah, uh, 239. It's probably one of these recipes makes makes sense, right? We can use it to make fuel rods. That's probably a real big uh, use of it. Oh my god, that's so much for one lead container. For one fuel rod. This is so, so expensive. I wonder what temperature it's at. It's needed... It's needed for a lot of stuff. Lead container is so expensive. Oh, you add hot air to get more. This is at least a lot better. I mean, a lot better. Casting stage three, though. That's a long way off. No good. Anyway, this consumes 39... And it needs 41, though. It's 39. We make fuel cells. We should be using this, but we don't have a proper reactor yet, so we can't. Um, yeah, I would love to do this. But it's particle accelerator. You know, I don't have any neutrons. So we just have to suffer for the time being, I suppose. Suffer. This is nice. That's nice. This is really what I was going for. Get all these uh, these things working. All right. So now we're at three gigawatts sustained, and we should see whether or not our steam buffer is uh, working. 
we should be maintaining our steam buffer without any issue whatsoever right now we should almost be oh you're all quiet because you cannot vent we should almost be able to run both accelerators at once in fact i think i'm going to go try that see what happens this isn't going to be playing around running both accelerators this is going to be running them both full time um, because the uranium accelerator has such a backlog it has to get through it's going to run full time for quite a long time we'll see if we run into brownouts we are almost assuredly going to run into brownouts <laughs> alright let's try it let's do and and bong. Okay, let's see what terrible, terrible things it's doing to the power supply. The answer, of course, is it's just completely wrecking it. Uh, it's going to take a while to fully, fully burn out of everything. But we'll see. All right. Man, I dedicated a lot of space to power generation. So all these guys are going, right? Just as hard as they can. No. You are, in fact, not going as hard as you can. But the steam buffer is being eroded. All right, we're going to do a stress test. We're going to... Oh. 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 We're here. We're already here. Should I just allow this for the time being? Like, is the buffer going down? It doesn't look like it. Like, is the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Is the bottleneck really not enough turbines? And we're producing enough steam for all these turbines? Excuse me. Um... going to be an interesting question to answer. I'm not going to answer it right now. <laughs> We're just going to let this go and maybe, maybe, maybe um, uh, the uranium particle accelerator will, will catch up to its backlog, start shutting off and then um, ooh, it's going to be a fun day tomorrow. Are you stopped? No explosives. I'm assuming it's for a good reason, right? No sulfuric acid. Why are we... No glycerol. That doesn't seem right. Anyway, we're just going to let that go. And, ah, we've made our way through the backlog completely here. And so, looks like we didn't need the last one. That's fine. And we're just raining down wafers. It's not stopping at all. We have the graphene. Fresh delivery made. Okay, graphene no longer a bottleneck in any way, shape, or form. Coming down here. Yeah, we're almost filled up. Okay, we're ready. We're ready for uh, next-gen mechanical parts. I've never done this. It seems so natural, because this is an important uh, through. All right. So let's go do a round. That involves manually hucking by hand a lot of barrels of drilling fluid. So let's go do it. And that will be our last thing for today. Then we'll wrap. And then tomorrow, uh, violence and claim territory. And then uh, the day after that, Probably gonna be a complete episode of claiming territory tomorrow. Just building and building and building and building. Because I'm almost at the point where I'm rolling with uh Yeah, completely out. So one more uh round will uh fill this up. Turn this on. Let's just throw a bunch of stuff in here. It doesn't matter. Get all this. Fuck them down. We should already have a completely full um, 
there should already be barrels of drilling fluid waiting for me, is what I am trying to just choke out. And then I will hook this up to the oil network at some point, and that will make up for any crude I don't have, which will allow me to keep fueling kerosene at the current level. Oh, it looks like it's getting worse, huh? Yeah. All right, we're going to just let that go for the moment because the one of the the biggest consumers of electricity will calm down if it just is given time. So, let's give it a little bit of time. Yeah, right here. Did I give it all my boxes. I didn't. That's not what I wanted to do anyway. I wanted to do this. Here, fill these up. Fill these up. I want this and this and this and that. All right, good enough. We head back north. And this will hopefully be enough to open up that well. Um, so yeah, things are going fine. We're getting one, sometimes two texts a session. It's a good pace. Um, Probably, and then we just, it's going to be a long, long process to get Mechanical Parts 2 up. And then when I have Mechanical Parts 2 up, um, I'll be able to get the next generation power everythings. And I will no longer have any real issue. Alright, it is time to wrap up. So, let's talk about what we did today. We did on the combat front, nothing. We did absolutely nothing, don't need to talk about that at all. So let's frame our factory real nicely. Uh, what did we do today? Well, obviously we built out the the limestone islands because limestone was a bottleneck, did not have limestone, so did not have seaweed, did not have seaweed, did not have a wide variety of products and services offered by the factory. Unacceptable situation. So we put out a whole lot of limestone, utilizing our ability to make land out of nothing, which was from all the stone we have been saving. So very good use of time. Everyone here should feel great about themselves. Uh, other things I did, I rejiggered the, the coke flow through the factory. It is one of the more confused lines. It is a problem. It will be addressed in the new factory. I also built out more coke production up here, just primary production, and uh, danced around with the coal line here in a way I'm not convinced did anything good at all. I did something, maybe, I don't know. Uh, the other big accomplishment, oh, and then after that, when I was confident we had more coke being produced, I mean, at least available from the main depot. I then went and built out another graphene area, and that graphene channels its graphene into the main graphene depot, and then we confirmed that it is being... Ooh. Ooh, action. Yeah, come on. Do that again, guys. Try to plant another flag. Just try it. Um... We have confirmed that graphene is no longer a bottleneck for the factory and that we are making more red circuits. This uh, clears the way for making electronic parts and electronic parts Mach 2, both of which will be necessary coming forward. But electronics Mach parts Mach 2 is the biggest impediment to mechanical parts 2, which I've decided is the next major technical goal. I don't know where I'm going to cite this. Maybe just wedge it in here in some ad hoc nonsense way. I don't know what I'm going to do. And for my last trick, I doubled kerosene production. We're opening up another well to support that. And put in 10 kerosene power plants and wired it all in. And I believe that I have enough power. Bam! But I am running an experiment with the particle accelerators as we speak so we'll see if we can actually support that next episode i have built up like uh, artillery shell production is now good not like great but good and it's enough for me why is this allowed why is this allowed that that is that guy's slacking. That oh, that's the dinosaur I misprogrammed. Anyway, we're gonna fix that.
luckily that's temporary. So next episode, uh, taking all these built-up shells and donating them to common, uh, good causes across the land. Uh, we're probably just going to sweep down here as much as we can. It'll probably be one, two, three, four, five, probably, because I'll be able to reuse them a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then after we spend our shells, begin making mechanical parts, too. All right. Oh, I also had the presence of mind to put down Megadars. Two of them only. So we can see more of the factory. It's not enough, but we're getting there, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Done now. Talk to everyone later. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.